And I'd like to share a message with you. I believe this is number 123. And it's really a key message for all of us. You know, I talk about it being of this planet, but not in the emotion of this planet. And at this time, because of all the chaos going around and about, you know, there's a possibility that we get drawn into the chaos, the anger and frustration. And it's also all very easy to get involved in it because we hear so much negativity from the press and maybe from everyone else. And when I hear negativity from everyone else, this is what I'm really hearing. And what I'm hearing is they're living in fear and uncertainty. And in uncertainty, they're unsure of what's going to happen. But if we bother to take a few minutes and listen to the urging of our soul, it's really saying this is part of a change that's coming back meaning we're going back to our roots of spirituality. We're becoming more enlightened. And we need to understand that some souls are expressing frustrations, anger, insecurity, and that they are lost, and they don't know which way to turn. So they think about expressing this anger and fear by yelling and screaming or riot or whatever they're doing to let off steam, but really what they're doing is self-perpetuating the fear and anxiety in lives. And we have an important choice to make because we can lead by example. You see, each one of us are very enlightened and very empowered. Each one of us are an aspect and part of the true source. Each one of us can make a choice. Do I want to live in this fear, anxiety, or insecurity? Do I want to buy into what's going on? Or do I realize this is part of a change? And how can I be part of that change in a nonviolent way, in a way that empowers everybody? And so first of all, you're being asked to become the role model. You're asked to become the leader within your family or group or friends. You're asked to be the one that shows them the path. And by that it means listen to what people have to say and then expressing loving thoughts and ask them, with all that's going on, all the judgmentalness, is that what their life should be? Do you want your life to be that way? Do you want to be that way? Because, you know, when someone judges someone else, that's no one, no different than someone who is judging you against what you believe in. Now, it doesn't make a difference whether you're right or they're wrong or they're right or you're wrong. It's the fact that we need to use and understand the words of judgmentalness. We judge people because we want to feel better about ourselves or we want to show that we're superior or that we have more knowledge or more knowingness. Now, it's not done at a conscious level. It's done at an unconscious level because everyone listening to this and all of you on this call, I know and deep in your heart you're not at all that way. But we get tied up in the emotions because I talk about us being an antenna, receiving and sending out information. Now that doesn't mean you should lay down and hide and run. It means you should feel free to express loving thoughts. And even if those thoughts don't agree with others, but you know they're loving and caring, then that's what's important for you, to express those thoughts, not be bullied, not to be coerced but really follow what I call true inner source guidance, your soul's love, expressing loving, powerful thoughts. And sooner or later, they'll get it. And if they never get it, have compassion and understanding that they're stuck and that one day, by sending them love, they will change. As you know, in this call, I've talked about love is the glue that holds our cellular structure to body and our body together. It is also the glue that brings us enlightenment and love and joy and happiness it also helps us heal it also helps us manifest things in our life that are very positive think about that how powerful love is it heals holds your body together and manifests things that bring you love and joy and happiness it brings about perfect health it brings about wonderful positive relationships and it brings about empowerment to rise above all the negativity that's around us and everything that is drawing people down into the, as I would call them, into the sewer. 
Therefore, we have these choices to make. And in being a loving role model, what you need to understand is there'll be one of you and someone will say, you know, I agree with you. Then there will be two, then there will be three. And before we know it, there'll be 75 million. And after that, everything will begin to change. But change starts with you individually. It changes how you think. And I'm coercing you and urging you not to buy into the negativity and fears and doubts about what's going on. See, you are so powerful as an individual. You've created your life, everything in your life. No matter how you judge it, you've created it. Nothing was by mistake or happen chance. It was exactly how you created it. So if you're that powerful, which you are, what are your possibilities? What can you create? What can you change? And how do you want to change it? I believe everyone in this call and listening to me would love to have this epitaph. And this epitaph is, what is your legacy? And I change my life into love and positivity, my family and friends, all those that will listen to me. It's pretty gosh darn powerful. It is so powerful you have no idea. Many years ago, the true source said, when you change how a person feels, it moves mountains. And I remember going into a store. And it was a store. Was um, I used to buy my ties there when I was in marketing and sales. It was like a place called Filene's, which is like Nordstrom's or Saks Fifth Avenue or whatever. And one of the women, when I was buying the ties, she looked kind of glum. And I said, hi, boy. He said, wow, that perfume smells great. And what a pretty blouse. And she beamed and she smiled. And I changed her whole day. And then I went back the next day because I ordered something. And she was there grinning. And she said, thanks for changing my day. And what happened, a simple little compliment moved mountains, made her feel good about herself. So it's just a simple little positive things we do in life that make a difference. You don't have to move a mountain. You don't have to move your house. You just have to move yourself to see the love and good in everyone. That makes a difference. Today I had to go to the bank for some purposes and they recommend, not recommended, but they recognized me and they said, wow, you're here again. And they were laughing and joking with me because that's what I do. But I change their life. And every time they see me, they smile and they laugh. Here comes Dr. Michael again. How you doing? But you see, that simple thing, because I told him a joke or I complimented them, or I said I admire the hard work you do, it made a difference in their life. And I want to charge each one of you, each day, this is pretty powerful now, to do seven things, say seven things to different people that's complimentary, and watch the reaction. And more importantly, watch how you feel. Because it's called right action and correct exchange. And as you do right action, it comes back to your tenfold. So everyone, share this knowledge. Share the love. Help them to understand that what's going on is temporary. That we are changing into a very positive, positive relationship with everyone around us and in our life. When it's all over and done with, and we birth out of our bodies, we will know that in some insignificant way in our thoughts was a major way in which we changed everyone's thinking.